They're like rats in the sea, drenched in cheap booze and filth. They just exist, wallowing in the pathetic poetry. Well, guess what? It's time to exterminate them. <laughs> Hello squaddies, welcome to another new series. This is the one taking over for uh, Adventures in Night Dell in Stonehearth. As always, I am D, and this, this is Party Hard 2. Now, I've actually already beaten this level pretty handily, because this, I mean, this is the first level. Like this, is, you can just view tips. But, as you can probably tell from the title, this is the sequel to the original Party Hard. Now, the main one of the big differences here is that Party Hard 2, while it has a lot of well, it has a lot of different or a lot of similarities. One of the biggest differences is you see up in the top left up up there. It actually focuses on objectives, whereas the original Party Hard, it was more about it, all it was was kill everybody. This, you still have to kill everybody. But at the same time, there are other ways to do it. Beyond just... There's extra ways to do it, and there's also a couple of other things. For example, there's now a crafting system. First off, let me get this booze. I'm going to hold this to craft, and now I've got a Molotov cocktail. Whereas I've also got this lighter. I'm going to go ahead and craft this, and now I've got a flaming fire. And now I've got a fire canister. Now I have to kill four dealers, four sorters, hide a dead body, and destroy the army crates, which you can actually see off on the right side of the screen there. But first, I think I'm just gonna let's start this party off with a bang, shall we? You have a sprint that's up, that's set, in this case mapped to to the shift key. Alright, the cops are here, but I'm also not at all noticed. They apparently arrested a dead body for what I just for all for the mass murder I just committed. Now, in the original Party Hard, you were a guy, the part who became known as the Party Hard Killer. Who, by the way, that's who we're playing as right now, isn't it? Yes, it is. Now the Party Hard Killer's original motivation was that you saw it kind of in the opening there. He is a standard hard-working guy that just so happens to live near a place that has, seems to have an issue with never stopping the noise. Which of course just means that it eventually, it kept him up a lot, he couldn't sleep. He eventually snapped and went on a mass murder spree. By the way, I can still, I can, you can actually still do this. And the funny thing is, that counts as a stealth kill. Nobody notices that. Hmm. I'm trying to decide how I want to do things. Now, you can also look at posters like Bojan the Bear, apparently. Not exactly, not exactly certain what this gas what I can do with that canister, but luckily one of the sorters is right here. Stab, pick up the body, and hide the body. And that takes care of that. Now, the way to the other three sorters is a little bit silly in its own way. Okay, okay. What is with this level giving me lighters? Now you can actually go in and let this body this security guard up here knock you out. I'm gonna do this a little funnier. Stun grenade! Now this won't kill, of course, it's a stun grenade. Throw that. I might actually have gotten spotted with that one, but that doesn't matter. That's the sword who's taken care of. That's also the army crates taken care of. Now, if you complete the objectives in the top left, 
you will beat the level. But you can also do it the old-fashioned way and murder literally everybody. Alright, is this guy... What? Okay, he's just going to take me out and just drop me on the floor over here. Should have picked up that... I should have picked up the... Uh, stun grenade when I have the chance. Now, there are still some, just like in the first one, there are still some invincible invincible people. You cannot kill cops. You also cannot kill maids. But there's also some other fun things I can do. Let's look through here real quick. Unfortunately, now that I stopped to think about it, though, I can't actually do everything I'd like to, like, because I don't have a gasoline canister. We're just going to slide you in. In there... All right, this is a dealer who I'm just gonna quietly follow into the back alley and then, well, maybe not so quietly, but then I'm just gonna stab him. In, into the dumpster he goes. Hiding bodies is incredibly important in this game because people are a little bit more organic about where they go this time. So they'll tend to stay in one area, like that's the dealer over there, the one that looks like Harley Quinn going up the stairs. Also, you can pay people, and they will do something. I'm not 100% certain what. I'd say I'm sorry about this, DJ, but really I'm not. You also don't want to be anywhere near bodies when they are discovered. Now, I can't, ev like I said, I can evacuate here. But frankly... Actually, yeah, I think I will. The way I'm going to do this... Actually, no, I'm not going to evacuate just yet, because I want to explain some stuff. The way I plan to do this series is... I'm going to do a level... I'm going to try and do a mission. If the mission goes beyond about 45 minutes, I will start cutting it down and edit it out so that we focus on, like, completing objectives and just... or just interesting things. So, for example, in the level I'm currently stuck on, I'm stuck on, like, the fourth level in this game, there is a way... one of the objectives, one of the secret objectives, involves electrocuting ten people. I actually have a very easy way to do it, and I'll show you guys when I get to that level. Also, never go anywhere alone. I don't think anybody can see us, so you get stabbed. Stun gun! Now, the stun gun has a special use. I'm gonna just... Hide your body in the trash can, dude. I'm sorry. Let's take this water jerry can. And this is where, start, this is where things start to get kind of fun, because... What you can do is... I'm just gonna slowly walk... Oh, crap! If she can get to the... If she can get a phone call... Which she didn't... She noticed me because of the dead body right there. Now, what I can do... There's a couple of ways I can do this. With my current plan. One of them... Is what I'm going... Is what I'm planning to do. Because, you see... Water... Is one of the... Probably the easy one of the best and most viable weapons I've got. And when I said you can't kill cops, there are some ways to do it, it's just not very easy. And the other problem with this is that water will actually eventually evaporate. So you do kinda have to move quickly for this. Alright, where did... Okay, the water trail ended over here somewhere. Let's go ahead and spread this. Now, if I wanted, I could actually use the stun gun for this, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and break that water that water cooler, which will, by the way, do this. Eventually. Come on. There we go.
That is that is actually the easiest way to elect to ex execute a lot of people very quickly. Now, like I said, this particular mission, I don't actually have to kill every single he person here. And in fact, it's a lot easier not to. Doesn't mean, like I said, though, I'm gonna try. Now, if you see a crate. Okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and drop this. Oh, wait. I thought I saw something that said Molotov. Take Molotov. Oh, good. I can literally just throw a bottle of booze at something. Which I guess would actually be useful, because what I can do there is I can then turn that into a fire patch. You can also occasionally use... If you can get a hold of certain types of pills, you can also use them in the vents to create poison clouds, which will mostly drive people away. And there's also literally nothing stopping you from just doing this. Again, I could evacuate anytime I wanted, but I've got a plan. In fact, it tells you now, now you see the arrows, that's how many people are left. And then, there was one. This is probably the cruelest thing I can do. Just nail somebody in the head with a Molotov cocktail, and they're dead. 28 out of 28 people now die, have now died. Yes, this is not a game for people of us that are worried about their mental condition. And I've evacuated. Success, that took me a grand total of 11 and a half minutes. I don't know how I provoked the fight, but I did. You also have these. These are your different stat lines, I guess. You gain ability, you gain special items and perks and stuff from them. Like, I just got the police one up, so I just, I guess I just got a stun gun. That I can, that I guess I can start with. I'll let them explain. Chaos in an underground nightclub. People killed. The police suspect a man known as the Party Hard Killer. Dr. McBride, why didn't your therapy help him? My client Darius is insane. He needs psychiatric help. I did everything I could as a therapist. This was only the beginning for the masked killer. Shortly afterward, he chose a new place to hunt. You're watching High Crime. Stay tuned. So the framing device for this is that you are, like I said, you're the party hard killer. This actually takes place five days later. I'm not going to go on to this mission. I'm just going to go ahead and exit out. Once the game will actually load. So like I said, we're going to go ahead and exit this level. And I'm going to show you guys some things. Or try to, at least. Because one of the other big differences between this and the first game is, in the first game, I think there were two, maybe three killers. In this, there's a couple, you, and you actually start with, this is the party hard killer, this is the main character. And this is who you start as, this is who you basically, you can play as him throughout the entire game. His ability, party vision, I never, I didn't, I didn't use this, but you have a couple of abilities. First off, you have party vision, which it's just, he can basically see things that he can interact with. These are usually objects for body, uh, places to hide bodies. Things you can pick up for weaponry, that kind of stuff. 
his weapon that's his that's the, the that's the knife that I was using that's your number one item really and then multi kill every character seems to have an ultimate ability kind of thing that charges up over time you start with it charged at least with this guy his is he basically creates a circle on the ground and then dashes around at high speed killing basically everybody inside of it it's not super useful though I've tried it it's not great we also have the wannabe basically this is a copycat killer he has extra health and stamina. He also has party vision, knife, and multi kill for his for his three things. This guy is easy mode. This guy is literally easy mode. Next up, one that I haven't unlocked yet, Cow Tech. He has his ability is that he can become invisible. This is going to be a little crazy. I think it's basically this is basically Predator. Extra terrestrial firearms for a weapon, magnetic field for a skill, and he has a trap that he carries, apparently. Sean O'Panda. This is a dude with a panda head. It sounds a lot like basically they're... It basically sounds like they're making a really weird dead mouse reference, but I don't know. Pandy Vision, don't know what that does. He has a fist for a weapon, Flames of Pandala, and the Pandash Kick. For, he has two skills. So you have four characters. Party Hard, the Wannabe, Cowtech, and Shano Panda. Now, like I said, I've made it up to level four, the motel. This one is tough because of some enemies you gotta deal with. Most it's the goons that you have to deal with. But the next episode we'll be going to is the bar. But we'll do that next week, folks. If you enjoy, please sure to like or favorite the video. You can also leave a comment down below if you have anything you'd like to say, including commentary about my mental state. Feel free, it doesn't bother me anymore. Notice the anymore at the end of that sentence. And if you want to keep up with me and never miss any of my current series, then consider joining the squadron by subscribing to the channel. It does help me out, and I really do appreciate it. Also, those of you looking at this screen might notice, yes, this has local co-op, and it also has Twitch integration. The first one did, too. I have yet to actually stream this, so I don't know what the Twitch integration is like. But as for that, folks, I have been D, and this has been our introduction as the Party Hard Killer. Party on, folks, but not too hard. Good night, and good gaming.